Welcome to the Stanford Neurodiversity Summit 2021. Once we log in and click on the invitation link, we would be routed to the event platform. Now, the event platform is actually divided into two parts, the top navigation and the navigation on the sidebar. Now, this video would talk about how and where you need to go to access what features within the event. Now, the, talking about the top navigation bar, the reception, the first option is reception. So this is the section where you'll see all the details in regards to the speakers. The leadership board gives you a basic overview about the event. Now, moving forward to agenda, under this section, we would be able to see all the sessions that would be starting. You would get a notification, a pop-up notification when a session starts. And once you're on the agenda, you'll have an option to join sessions. Based on the days you are in, you can always have an option to click on it and see all the sessions. Now, moving forward, we have the exhibition page. The exhibition section would include the sponsors of this event. You would have an option to click on the sponsor's name and you'll be routed to the placeholder where they'll have all the information displayed for you. Plus, you have an option to hover over the names of the team members and the profile would open up and then you could have an option to chat with them as well by clicking on chat and selecting them from here. Now moving forward from this section we have lounges. So lounges would be available during the day of the event as it's a networking tool. As an attendee we would have an option to grab a seat on a lounge. We just need to make sure we are not logged in with a VPN or we do not have any restricted network that we are connected with plus it would run a test when you'll join a lounge and we need to make sure that the permissions for the audio and video that is your camera and your microphone should be offered now moving forward to rooms as an attendee you would once you have a room available you would have an option to join a room click on enter so you click on enter and you'll be added as a spectator. As a spectator, you would have an option to raise your hand. Once you do that, the speaker or the moderator of the room would give you an option to be on audio and screen and video. Now moving forward to the icons on the top right, you have my schedule. So this is the section where you'll be able to see any sessions that you have marked to your calendar. So this is the schedule. All the notifications, in-app notifications would be displayed here. And this would be the message section. So if somebody starts a new chat and somebody sends you a message, it would be available here to the right where you see the profile picture. You click on it, you'll have various settings to edit profile, change the settings, change the time and location and time zones. That all can be done. Now moving forward to the right uh, panel, we click here. So we have an event feed. This is the place where we can actually upload a uh, images, introductions, put in polls. So something more like a Facebook or a Twitter wall that we have and attendees and other people can actually comment and post as well. Now leadership board, a uh, leaderboard is something that would be based on the kind of interaction an attendee has. And if so, the person who has the most interactions and has been a part of this event actively would be on the top. Now moving forward to happening now, Anything that's going on in the event at that particular time would be displayed there. It could be a session. It would show here a lounge tables active. It would be in the lounges and rooms. And now the last option that we see is people. So under people, we have an option to see all the speakers. And then we have an option to see all the attendees who are a part of them. So this actually sums up how Hobillo platform would work. And I hope you all have a wonderful event. Thank you.